motorcycle only parking. You gotta love it. There it is. Welcome back to the channel. Well, this episode is about riding your motorcycle to work. It's just about more than that and why the Goldwing Tour is a great option for that. Well, any bike with luggage, but especially the Goldwings with their hard luggage points that lock. Of course, you know, I, like a lot of people, carry electronics like a laptop and a few other things to work with. Right now, that laptop is right behind me all locked up. Actually, I have everything in that form-fitting Honda leather luggage, so I could just grab that bag and walk in the office. And I got my lunch in there, a few pops, and everything I need to work today for my employer. Obviously, too, that's kind of like an advantage if you've got a bike with luggage, hard or soft. Of course, you want to lock up your company credentials, I think they most places require their employees to do that if they're not with their vehicle type of thing. another tip i have that was the first one take an alternate route i go one mile that way it's telegraph road super busy lots of aggressive drivers four to five lanes all the way into work the road here's two lanes and really nice it's going through hill hills michigan it's a nice drive I can handle this pretty nice. I haven't had any issues with anybody, even though traffic's been heavy on the way in for me. Obviously, some people may or may not have a choice. I would just avoid busy roads early in the morning. A lot of people are aggressive driving to get to work and may not be paying attention type of thing. Tip number three is always ride as if you're invisible like I'm doing right now. My tactical and strategic hat on right here. So here I got this guy in the truck. I just kind of backed off the throttle a bit and here's this guy. He doesn't want to wait. So I was ready to do something evasive there. Just uh, remember to find a less busy route on the way in, especially as you get closer to work. My next tip is uh, just relax and enjoy yourself on your way into work. I'm really enjoying this. I've got the radio on through my Bluetooth local radio station for traffic reports and things like that. Relax just like riding any other time. As long as you don't forget to think about what's around you, be aware of your surroundings type of thing. So my next tip is obvious. Put 91 octane in our Rocket 3 GT yesterday. It was 510 a gallon. I only run premium gas in our motorcycle. Things are expensive right now and of course you know I'm saving money riding this motorcycle. I think the last time I ever checked what the fuel economy was for this bike on average I was taking away 47 miles to the gallon. I'll check it again this year. Saving some money with inflation on, on fuel costs. You have the opportunity to bring your bike in. Save some money on gas right now. Something to think about. My next tip is how great it is to be able, how blessed I feel and I feel blessed for other people too that can ride their motorcycle into work. It really does uh, a lot for your blood pressure. <laughs> and stress. It just stress goes away. Funny story, I went to the doctor's last night and they checked my blood pressure and it was normal. I couldn't believe it. I took the motorcycle. I took the Rocket 3 GT to my doctor's appointment last night. Uh, yeah, got this beautiful fresh air around me and somewhere in the 60s right now, low 60s. The next tip I'd recommend is dress appropriately. I've got protective gear on. I've got a Revit mesh jacket on. that has got all that body armor stuff in it and helmet, of course, and gloves, things like that. You want to dress appropriately. That would be my next tip for going to work. My next tip, I'll also, you know, if you can grab your motorcycle and, and take it to work, is to give everybody the right away. Be as courteous as you can be with other people. Don't assume people see you. Here, I've got more than enough time to stop if this guy in front of me throws on his brake. If you look back there, most people on my ride in today, this is the first day this year I'm riding my bike to work. We're on the Goldwing. Most people are giving me some space back there too. Kind of cool. I don't mind. I call it chill on your way in. This might be where I make a right turn. Let's see. Yep, it is. Uh, you know, I'm using my turn signals religiously. Not really drag racing, but I am enjoying this. So I'm going to show you. I am going to be on the super busy road here a mile this way. You'll see what I'm talking about. The difference between that road we were just on, which was Lasher. Voided, I would say, 70 three percent of very busy road with different driving styles from people we're gonna zip over and telegraph now just so you guys can get a flavor of that thanks for being here checking us out i would love it if you would share your motorcycle riding experiences to work your recommendations and tips something other people will see too when they come in and look at comments at the channel feel free to rip on me for being down on honda goldwing dcts not true at all not true at all it's just the manual's cheaper i don't think the manual goldwing tour should be overlooked i really really don't. I'm on it right now and boost shift in. Once these bikes are in fifth and sixth gear, they're all the same. Just beautiful. So here, you can see up here how busy this road is now. We got some of everything. Let me go here. That's the old American Motors building over there. If you guys remember American Motors Company, you can see it sticking up there. I'm just going to look at Telegraph and talk with you guys. So 
You can see the difference right there. Total difference with volume of traffic. What I'm gonna do is stick in the right two lanes. Okay, and so here we go again, coming up on the, uh, this road's rather sedate, obviously. I prefer to right lane it when I go to and from work for so many reasons. Sometimes you can't because both lanes here are turn lanes and I need to be on the far left lane for the turn in and U-turn. So we're going to see the whole different animal here and what I avoided coming in. So I'm just going to keep filming here and here you go. Now there's a, there goes somebody. Pretty cool bike. Oh boy. So you can just see it's a different animal. There's Telegraph. Uh, these people are flying. It's like a it's like a racetrack, right? You just look at this. It's just like a, a ton of traffic. I don't want to be in that shit on a bike. I saw that guy doing it, but even he was in the right lane. It's your safest lane, I believe. I'd like to know if you guys agree with me. No wind, too. So in Michigan, in the morning like this, and then after 7 o'clock at night, there's no wind at all. But during the day, there's lake effect wind constantly. It's just... A really nice motorcycle ride in the morning just totally de-stresses me on my way into work again you know I'll have to mitigate that 696 telegraph bridge all these people trying to jump on the freeway and people exiting the freeway I will do that from the right two lanes probably the second lane next to the right lane over the bridge I'll, I'll see I have to mitigate my risk as I see traffic exiting and, and going you guys will see this again so pretty simple turn here Never a question with low speed maneuverability on a on a uh, manual gold wing, right? So here, gonna stick in this lane because I want that lane you see the right truck in. Hey, I tried that Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich. Chick-fil-A's got the best chicken sandwich. I don't care what they say. And again, I'm not gonna take a chance, right? I'll just chill out. That light was yellow. Uh, I wasn't gonna roll through there. And here, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Now, here comes the water hose of traffic. Get my turn signal on. Again, said this before, my fog lights are on. Right there, you can see, okay? I want people to see me. Here you go. You got people riding the lanes, uh, you know, actually putting their vehicle on the white lines, playing with their phones. I can see some of it right now. That guy was looking at his phone. And I'm going to crack my visor again because uh, I had a little bit of condensation in my visor. So I could handle this, right? On my bike, on this Goldwing or, or Rocket, no problem at all. Telegraph every morning, but why put myself in that position? Because, you know, I don't trust anybody. Nobody on a motorcycle. Nobody. I come first and uh, I'm super humble in situations like this. I don't care. I'll let people get in front of me. I'll just chill like a villain. So uh, here we go, and I've actually seen Telegraph worse than this. Look at the other way going north. A freaking racetrack, man. Yeah, people just don't give a shit. So uh, you see the heavy trucks, and uh, you know. Um, all right, here we go. We got it. I made sure they were coming to a stop, and I'll go here for right now. I'm tempted to hit Panera Bread. <laughs> I think I'm going to hit Panera Bread and then go over the 696. You see that? It's all backed up over the freeway. So I am going to hit Panera Bread. See what's going on. Okay, so they're at the light. There's really not necessarily a traffic backup. And I think one thing I'm not doing, I'm using the Goldwing map, right? But I should run Waze. Absolutely. I should run Waze, you know, for the traffic reports on the Goldwing. And I don't, but I can. But this is just the Goldwing map. I think it's great for what it is. And while I sit at this light, I know people have complained about, oh, it's only got eight waypoints. Well, you know what? If you want to do poker runs, go do poker runs. Eight waypoints is more than enough. You know, I can't believe the way people complain. They complain and complain, and then they kind of goes and makes these updates, makes the bike, makes the bike more expensive, and uh, they they don't buy it. They keep their old Goldwing. You wonder why? You just wonder freaking why? So okay, I'm at Panera, people. I'll be. And I will order a breakfast sandwich to take with me into work. I think here we got 60 degrees. Rabbit mesh jacket, fingerless gloves. These here do a great job of blocking airflow. I love it. All right. Just pull forward here. So I make Teresa laugh because when I am running ways, when I go through drive through when traffic's backed up, I <laughs> I report on ways that traffic's at a bet is at a dead stop. 
it's pretty hilarious. So now I will shut the bike off. Got the kickstand. Hello. How are you today? Am I am I your first motorcycle today? Yeah. Can you say burning down the road for me? Burning down the road. Right, right on. All right, thank you. See, the bike's at an angle and the fuel gauge adjusted. How sweet is that? And I'm very close to work. So here, I'll show you more. I keep my ID badge right here to get into garage parking. I'm letting my work phone recharge right there. I love this setup, love the locking luggage, love this bike. The next morning. And chill like I did on Lasher. I'm not going to take over into the third and fourth lanes, but I'll be right around the two right lanes. And then I'll have to mitigate 696 up here, cars coming off of 696 on the Telegraph Road here. So I'll have to be really alert and aware, and then I have a cutover into the, the parking lot where I work right after the freeway bridge. It'll be cool to catch that for, for, for everyone. All right, here we go. No problems, right? Now we're getting on this busy, this busy shit. It's still early in the year, right? So I can't tell you guys honestly that everyone's looking for a uh, motorcyclist, so, right? I haven't seen any of my ride in this work. You know how it is. You sit in the office and they go by the window and you wish you were outside. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. So, hey, so far, so good. And I'm going to look up Telegraph North, which is uh, if, uh, if I'd brought our Forerunner, our TRD Forerunner, I would have come down Telegraph about five or six miles north of here. And you can just see the difference, uh, what I'm telling you, right? This is this is minor by telegraph standards, too. You guys kind of get the idea, right? So my earlier tip to avoid heavier traffic routes on your way, and if you can do it, I think that's probably one of the strongest tips. Well, here's, a, here's an advantage, though. To, oh, okay, there's my first bike, a uh, crotch rocket. So he's doing good. He's doing what I'm doing. He's in those right two lanes. He knows, and he's got his helmet on and some other stuff on. So he went by kind of quick. Another advantage is the thumbs up you'll get from people. Everyone checks out the bike when I stop. Let me tell you while we wait for this red light to change how great it feels to be on the Gold Wing right now. I totally love this bike. If I tried to buy this bike after the pandemic rules went into effect it would have been probably a lot more expensive for me. So far it's turned out to be technically you know, when you factor in the discount uh, I got the bike for less than I paid for my Rocket 3 GT. Can you believe it? I paid full price for my Rocket 3 GT. So you guys can do the math. All right here we go. So we got one two three lanes right now i think this will go back to four right now i'm in the lane to actually get on 696 to lansing which i don't want to do i want to sneak over one lane first chance i get so this will take a little bit of finesse because i want to really feel safe obviously I'll, I'll religiously use my turn signals up here to slip over a lane and we're coming up on the freeway shoot that people are coming off the freeway they're thinking about getting to work, right? And being on time for work. See, I'm just letting people float in. Now, I'm still in the right two lanes. I'm also, uh, another tip is that I'm riding with my fog lights on. I want to be visible. See, there you go. There's an asshole. Complete asshole, right? So I saw that, by the way. I saw that. It was him. That's what I'm talking about. Again, if you can take in a less congested road into work, no, more power to you okay so here we go now i want you guys to see not that okay so everybody needs to know i'm not a motorcycle coach i've been riding for over 25 years and i learned something new literally every time i get on a bike i'm very humble uh, i don't i feel i've never ridden a bike better so here's all these cars coming in right so i think this truck saw me i got lucky there's a there's a there's a utility truck i'm just chilling out i'm letting these people come in there you go okay so I made sure everybody saw me, and now I'm going to do what I can to accelerate the hell out of here. Get, 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 get by this chute. All right, so now I'm coming up to work. This is what I refer to me needing to get over. Again, there's another freeway. People coming off the freeway. You can see that yellow sign there. And I'll, I'm already looking. Okay, there's one. There's two. Going to hit my turn signal. Okay, I think I got it after uh, this this uh, silver or this uh, Toyota Camry okay I'm leaning forward there's another car back there I was able to get forward and here I am at work so that was the most dangerous part of my trip into work everything else was standard motorcycle stuff with the exception of people uh, like I said you know looking at cell phones being in a hurry to get to work on time all right so here we go all right I get the swip 
swipe swip. <laughs> I get this. I get this. I get to uh, swipe world famous ID badge. Oh, there it is. I put it in my other pocket. I had so much fun riding into work. Here it is. Ta-da! Do that and then put this back in my pocket. For me, the best advantage to riding into work is designated motorcycle parking. Beat it with a stick. And there's one right there. There's your designated motorcycle parking. What I'm gonna do is park next to this guy. I would love to ride a pedal bike to work. Really cool stuff. Let's see back it up. I'm not using reverse yet. So the reverse on the uh, manual gold wing is an electric motor kind of thing, I think tied to the starter. Okay. All right. So let's do a quick review of our uh, tips. Uh, if you can, that's a ninja, pretty cool. If you can, not really in any specific order, dress properly, make sure you got some safety gear on, Helmets a must. You can take an alternate route in with less congested roads. Great idea from my perspective. The other one, the next one is ride invisible. Just assume no one can see you, even if you think you can. The next tip would be be humble. Give everybody the right away. Think about your safety first. Be selfish about it. The next tip is when you're on a busy road like I was just on with some tricky lane changes, try to stay in the safer lanes. Rather get to work safe than take chances which never take an unnecessary chance with your ride whether it's to work or pleasure on a motorcycle hey you guys um this form-fitting luggage my laptop everything is in here i'm parked in motorcycle parking only and i also put my revit jacket in here so this just form fits in here it's got everything I need for my day at work and boom, locked up. What I'll do next is put my helmet here and walk into work. Motorcycle only parking. You gotta love it. All right, here's my helmet. All packed and ready to go. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but I lock up my helmet here. I have my jacket locked up there and I have everything I need for work right there. Let's go to work. Really enjoyed making this episode, riding the bike today to work, so blessed. I hope many of you who see this video can do the same. Also share your tips, thus, in terms of riding and what you do when you bring your motorcycle to work. You guys have a chance to like and subscribe. That helps us out quite a bit. Very grateful you're here. Very grateful to be here. Everyone keep pushing through. We'll see you all next episode on Down the Road. Salute.